the part that you're going to be then um, engaged with is figuring out how to get this set up on the page. Preparations are underway for the ninth annual edition of The Healing Muse, SUNY Upstate's Journal of Literary and Visual Art, published by the Center for Bioethics and Humanities. The Healing Muse is a collection of fiction, poetry, narratives, essays, memoirs, and visual art, focusing mainly on themes of medicine, illness, disability, healing, and loss. Deirdre Nealon, associate professor at the Center for Bioethics and Humanities and editor of The Healing Muse, says one of the goals of the journal is to promote a literary dialogue on the human cost and reward of illness from both sides of the bed. We're looking for uh, pieces that tell people you can go through amazingly difficult experiences and come out and be stronger. You can uh, go through these experiences and come out with great anger. You can come out with um, great healing. What started out eight years ago as a small in-house outlet for writers, the Healing Muse has grown to the point where submissions are now coming from across the nation and around the world. People from Russia, people from Israel, people from France, Italy, they find us on the web and send us their work. So it's, it's quite amazing how many more readings we are getting, and the quality, of course, is growing as well. While the Healing Muse is open to global submissions, the Center for Bioethics and Humanities also sponsors the Bruce Deering Writing Award, which is open only to SUNY Upstate students, faculty, and staff. The competition is held in honor of Dr. Bruce Deering, the first professor of medical humanities at Upstate. Like the Healing Muse, the Deering Award celebrates the connection between the healing sciences and creative arts. Deering Award winners are automatically considered for publication in the Healing Muse, and last year several SUNY Upstate Medical University individuals were honored as Deering Award winners and had their winning pieces published in the Healing Muse. I cannot overcome. Have I mishandled my delivery? What is this feeling manifesting in the back of my throat? Ignore it. Shake this feeling off by finishing off strong. Among them was medical student Adam Stern, who was recognized for Faulty Armor, a fictionalized account of a radiology resident who has an epiphany while treating a patient. Stern wrote his story while working in the radiology department after finishing his first year at SUNY Upstate. The story is called Faulty Armor. It's a first-person narrative uh, from the perspective of a fourth-year radiology resident. Um, the resident finds himself becoming a little jaded as, as his career moves forward. He finds that he's, he's seen everything, he's done everything, and uh, this is not a comforting thought for him. And then he meets a specific patient who challenges that idea. And the story is how that patient makes him challenge the ideas uh, that he's come to um, question. Dominic Maggio, MS2, was also recognized for the Fitzroy River Turtle, a humorous story involving a student working as a bartender before going off to medical school. The Fitzroy River Turtle, it's an Australian turtle, and it breeds out of its butt. You know, before my break from before med school, while I was applying to med school, I worked as a bartender for a year in my hometown. Um, and I was an English grad, and, you know, we just got to talking at the bar and met a bunch of good people, and yeah, that was pretty much it. Elsa Capria of the College of Nursing received honorable mention for her short story titled A Good Day. A native of Sweden, Elsa says her writing is influenced by stories she heard as a child and her own experiences as a nurse. Outside his window, the early morning sun painted long white streaks over the gray granite's rock by water's edge. Oh, it has a lot of several uh, different influences from my life and my background. The beginning of it is actually partially from a classic Swedish story that I remember the setting of the beginning of the story. And I also have some medical uh, portions of the story, which obviously is because I'm a nurse, so I pulled some of that in. It's got little pieces of everything that is part of me and part of my life. While each writer offers a different perspective, they all agree that SUNY Upstate Center for Bioethics and Humanities provides a creative outlet for students, faculty, and staff to express themselves in ways not regularly given to those in the medical profession. I think that we bridge the gap between art and science by showing that the same skills one uses in the sciences, one can also use in the arts. That observational 
um, pre precision. Having a creative outlet, of, you know, with writing and reading and whatnot, you know, if you're talking about, you can essentially connect with any person. I'm glad that Upstate as an organization and an institution values the humanistic portions of life too. It's a great honor to be chosen to be published in The Healing Muse. I also appreciate that Upstate provided me with the opportunity to um, exercise another part of my brain. It helps me develop into a more well-rounded doctor, hopefully.